Hey guys, it's Mac, and I am back, and I got some goodies to show you guys. I um, wasn't able to film any videos for the past few weeks, but I did acquire some things that I figured I would jump on here and show you guys, and we did wind up getting a box in from the UK today. We will dip into, and I will show you guys what's in that bad boy here in a minute. But, as for now, I'm going to let you guys see what I picked up over the past couple weeks. Um, I'll leave the description down below to a couple of the places where I got a few of these items and you guys can go check out their one's a business page and one is a YouTube channel so I will leave a link down below and you guys can go check it out and I'll show you which items come from what so without waiting anymore let's see what we got all right so this come from a friend of mine. This wasn't a trade box. This is just something I had seen in the community from BAM, and I really wanted to get it. It is the key from Superman to the Fortress of Solitude. And I thought it was really cool, so I had to pick up this piece. I thought it was really neat. Um, yeah, and it was from the BAM box, too. So another item that I missed that I now have. That is awesome. I absolutely love that. And we finished our pin set of the Wild Stallions. We got Bill, we have Ted, and now Rufus. We finally got our Rufus in today. Been waiting for that bad boy to finish off this set. And I am extremely happy to finally have that. So, there's those. Okay, what else did we get? Alright. Oh, okay. This come from my buddy Adam. I got I picked up a few things from him. I'm a big Joker fan. Anything that has to do with the Joker or Pennywise, I'm all about it. And he happened to have a Joker mask that I absolutely loved. So he gave me the mask. I got the mask. That's my Joker mask that I picked up. And I got this from him. This was autographed by Ari Lehman, the very first Jason. And it is, it came with a certificate of authenticity as well. But yeah, that's my very first mask that we have. I'm very happy to have that. I'm going to have to have some other autos put on this bad boy. Okay, so for masks, that's all we got for masks. Let's set those out of the way here. Okay. And every once in a while, we like to hit... Um, secondhand stores and stuff like that and I used to collect a lot of music memorabilia and I love all kinds of music whether it's country music classical music rock music metal music you name it I love it I love all genres and I happened to come across this and it's still got the price up in the corner and I don't know if anybody else has heard of them but this is the group Little Texas and it was autographed by the entire group and I only paid three bucks for it it don't have a certificate of authenticity, but it is legit. They are all, all real autographs. And I just thought that was really cool, so I figured I'd show you guys. Yeah. This little something I picked up out of the secondhand store for three bucks. And then we got our Zach Ward from Freddy vs. Jason. Hold on, we got way too many glares there. Here we go. We have that one, Zach Ward. We also got Matthew Lillard Scream autograph. I love that. I was waiting a very long time for a Matthew Lillard. The one I'm looking for, I cannot find. And that is a Matthew Lillard autograph from the movie Hackers. I absolutely love that movie. It is one of my go-to movies that I can just watch over and over and over again. And I don't remember who signed this. All I know is it's Leatherface. The Leatherface 3D. I forgot who it was, so I apologize. But it also came with the Certificate of Authenticity. It's got some really cool stuff in it. But yeah, love that. Alright, what's next? Okay, my favorite. Pennywise. We got a few items for it and Pennywise the Clown. If you don't know... Who Nirvana is 
I'm not going to explain it to you. I'm just so sorry that you don't know who that is. But if you've ever seen any of Nirvana's albums, you'll know what this image is from. And I picked this little bad boy up, too, a couple of weeks ago. I absolutely love that. Alright, then we got a little 5x7 of the original Pennywise in the cast. And then we, this, oh, can't forget this. Back here behind me, right there, is Pennywise. And when that print came out, it also came out with this print. And I had to have it, so now I have Georgie to go with that one over there. And there's actually another one of these that I'm trying to find, and another one of those. So, but yeah, I also picked that up. This is one of my absolute favorites. And he also threw these in there. I didn't know these were coming or anything. Neither about that, that this little 5x7. This was just a throw into the box. So these were a complete surprise. But he also sent me these little um, postcards from Derry. And they have little scenes in there from the movie. I've already seen them, so I don't know why I'm trying to beat you guys to see them. But I love them, so the more I can look at them, the more I'm going to try. So there's that. we got a couple more of those. There's another one from Derry. And our final one from Derry. And I think that wraps it up for all of our It items. All right. Now we are on to a, another friend of mine that I actually did a trade with. I traded her an 11 by 14 Jennifer Carpenter Dexter autograph for a Captain Spaulding print, which is not here yet, and a couple of others. I got uh, CJ Graham that's back here up behind me, right there. I got that from her. This was done by her, and I will leave a link to her business down below. She operates Gorgeous LLC, and it literally right here gorgeous LLC and it's where beauty meets blood and it she has some beautiful work over there I just tell you to go check out her website I'll leave a link down below check it out her name's Heather Taylor she does amazing work and I can't wait to do some more trading with her this is one of the pieces that I got from her and she autographed it and this is her work. She did this. So I absolutely love that. I know it's hard to make out because it's so dark. But yeah, I absolutely love that. And it's supposed to be... This picture is from this VHS cassette, which she put in the box. This was folded up in this. This was... Not to be put in a frame. This was just something for me, but... I love it, so I'm going to flatten it out and frame it anyway. <laughs> but, yeah, you guys have to go over and check out her website. She's got some really cool t-shirts, some art prints that are really gorgeous. And I absolutely love them, so I look forward to doing more trades with her in the future. And this was another one that she sent to me. I already had framed, which I really, really like. Heather Taylor. You do amazing work, girl. I love it. Yeah, and that is all we got from Heather. We did the VHS thing did come with a bunch of stickers and stuff, but I've already stuck the stickers and all that kind of stuff up on the wall and everything. And our last art piece that we got, not from Heather, but from another trade box, was this. This is a Bianca Thompson, Michael Myers. And I am a huge Bianca fan. So, yeah, finally got that bad boy. Now, that is all of that. I say we jump into this bad boy right here. This is our trade box from Across the Pond from my buddy John. I'll leave 
a link to his YouTube channel down below. He, um, I traded him a couple of uh, Star Wars books I had laying around and a um, a Chewbacca figure that was already opened and out of the package and a couple bucks and this is a box that he sent over to us. I already cut the tape so let's get into this box. We got some fruity paper, fruity paper. Twenty packs popping pork bacon flavored popping candy, and can't find this here, so this is from the UK. I can't wait to try this. I don't, I don't know how that's gonna taste. Bacon flavored popping candy. We'll have to check that out here in a little bit. Oh man, there's all kinds of goodies in this thing. All right, and this is uh, popping brew. This is beer flavored popping candy. Now we're talking. If this actually tastes like beer, you're going to have to send me some more of these. I'm just saying. <laughs> that is awesome. Mine's a pint. Cheers, big ears. Beer lolly. Same goes, big nose. Beer flavored lollipop. <laughs> That's so cool, dude. Thank you, John, man. That is cool. This was not part of the trade. This is just stuff he threw in there because I told him that I was interested in what kind of snacks and stuff they had over there that we didn't have over here. I'm a round guy. I like to snack. So, be it. Anyway, thank you, John. We'll definitely have to try some of these out. He also threw in a sloth patch from the Goonies. And I have plenty of Goonie stuff right back here. So that'll go perfect with that. Thank you, John. I forgot his name. You guys can leave a comment down below and tell me because I completely forgot his name. I've seen the movie a hundred times and still forgot his name. Love that. And then we have a Halloween pin. That is cool. That is... I forget which Halloween that emblem is from. I'll have to ask him about that, but I love that. Thank you, John. There's a, he knows I love the Joker, so he threw in a little Joker card, which is cool. Thank you, John. I really like that, dude. Thank you so much. Oh, what is this? A Vinyl 45, The Batman, The Killing Joke. The DC Universe original movie, Batman, The Killing Joke motion picture soundtrack it's a 45 of the killing joke that is awesome still in the packaging that is cool man thank you so much and it's a BAM exclusive release that is oh wow I love that now I gotta find a 45 player to play it thanks John <laughs> now I gotta find something to play this on man I love that oh well, this movie was a big part of my childhood anyway. I don't know about anybody else, but I absolutely love the movie. I'm actually looking for the other piece to this, which is the David Bowie print. But this is Sarah from Labyrinth. And this is done by artist Chris Oz Fulton. Oh, yeah, that's Sarah from Labyrinth. When I get the Bowie, I'll have to jump on here and show you guys. Is that. This was also in there, too. Well, I know what this is. We'll look at this last, because this is... I've been looking for this. Oh, everybody knows this fella. If you say his name three times. We got Beetlejuice. John, man, these are great, brother. I really appreciate this, dude. These are awesome it looks like it's uh, 100 out of 300 that's a good number that is cool man and the Sarah one is 266 out of 750 that's also cool oh well that is sick can you say Friday the 13th 
I know I can. Wow. That is awesome. Number 644 out of 750. And it's also autographed by the artist. That is cool, brother. Thank you so much. Awesome. <laughs> well, I think we all know this movie. Yeah, Freddy vs. Jason art. This is also, if I'm not mistaken, yep, this is also autographed down here in the corner. It's, why do they use dark ink on a dark photo? That drives me nuts. But, nevertheless, that is badass art print. John, you're killing it, dude. And our last piece in this box is... Oh, wow. Well, John, you definitely outdid yourself, brother. This is amazing. Another Freddy vs. Jason. That is cool, dude. I absolutely love these, John. Thank you so much, man. I'm going to be at the store first thing in the morning looking for frames to put all these in and I'm gonna need a bigger wall man <laughs> maybe you have to expand but yeah there's our treats and our big pint sucker lolly and this is what I was waiting for to complete my set that I need only thing I have left to collect is the map that goes with this. But this is the last piece that Bam did that I didn't have yet. And I needed it for a shadow box that I wanted to do for the Goonies. And I literally went across the pond to get it. <laughs> Thank you, John, man. That was a big big item that I needed to finish this shadow box that I'm working on um, actually there's two pieces I also have to get a map and then it'll all go in place because I already have the key to the map right there and I have a sloth and chunk right there and I've got a um, full size poster ordered that'll be here soon that'll go with it but yeah that's more or less all the stuff that we've got so far while we've been waiting on our next boxes to arrive and I can't thank you John enough man I appreciate it so much and Heather over there at Gorgeous LLC I love you girl keep doing what you do and oh I almost forgot we also picked up a few DVDs along the way so if you guys don't mind real quick we'll run through the DVDs too alright so we did get a few and just so you know, none of these were paid for full price. These are all dollar days from um, our local pawn shop and our local secondhand store. Because I go nuts in those places. And these are all DVDs that I already have that are not opened. And now I have them open that I can watch. So, we'll start with The Lost Boys. Special edition, two disc set. A dollar. This one, we, we paid full price for for this one, but and we still haven't watched it yet. But Mama wanted to see this, so we're definitely going to have to check this one out. I also got, this is a classic. A Bronx Tale. If you haven't seen this, I don't know what you're doing with your life. This is also a very, very funny movie. With Eddie Murphy and Martin Lawrence. Bernie Mac. Boys getting it done in life. Love that. And... <laughs> this is one of my favorites. Rob Zombies. The Devil's Rejects. Another Rob Zombie. House of a Thousand Corpses. 31 and... The other Halloween he done is on its way. We also picked up Clerks 2. Can't go wrong with Clerks 2. Got that. Picked up another copy of The Goonies. Just because you can't ever have enough copies of the Goonies. This is one I'm not opening yet, but I picked up another copy of Tombstone. 
just because this is a fabulous movie. If you haven't seen this film, you have to check this out. And this is another one that I had to have. This was one of my dad's favorite movies, and I absolutely love this movie. It is funny as hell. If you haven't checked it out yet, The Toy, Richard Pryor, check it out. Great film. Now we are on to our Blu-rays. We got Ted, unrated. I'm not going to check for all the stuff that everybody else checks for. I don't know what it is. It, goo or dirt or grit or I don't know what it is, but everybody else looks at it. We also got Marley and Me. We got Point Break, the original. Mama wanted this one, so we got her The Blair Witch, the newer one. Uh, this is one of my favorite movies of his, so I had to pick that up. Next of Kin, Patrick Swayze. Uh, we got two of the Fast and the Furiouses that we were missing, six and seven. So we got those done and out of the way. We also got Robocop on Blu-ray. We got The Prestige on Blu-ray. And we've got Stir of Echoes, Blu-ray. We got these on $2 a day. It's a dollar for DVDs, $2 for Blu-rays. Spider-Man 3. And Let's Be Cops. And other than that, I think we covered everything. 22 minutes later, I'm glad you guys checked out my video. I will leave a description, like I said earlier, down below so you can go check out Gorgeous LLC and Heather and all of her great work that she does over there. And I will leave a link to my buddy John's YouTube videos down below. Go check him out. Thank you guys again, and I really appreciate it. We'll be back probably in about another week or two when the boxes start showing up. All right? Take it easy, guys. I love all of you.